Hello, welcome to this tutorial. I'm Maurice Dimba, and today we are going to finalize with the rafters on this fuel storage tank and do a bit of hand railings, and we'll get started right away. If you take a look on the screen, we have our previous work that we did. Now, we are going to add the final rafter that will be connecting to the ring beam that will be placed here. A ring beam will be, pre uh, will be welded on top of the final course of this plate. So the ring beam will be welded on, uh, I mean the rafters will be welded against the ring beam. Now what we are going to do just, uh, first of all, let's rotate this like that so that we have a clear view of, of everything we are doing. So to place that ring beam, it's very simple. I'll bring back my assembly here so that when I double click or double click on this on this tank i'll be able to access this storage tank storage tank dialog box in here i want to add another course on top of this so i've already added an, another course but in, uh, so it previously it was six six courses six courses so i'll add another one uh, i'll add one to make it seven so i'll just click okay so we have to, we have seven of them so if you take a look here, you'll we'll sl slightly see uh, uh, the cost is far, is far much higher than uh, the slope of this roof. So what we're going to do, we are going to convert this cost into, into a channel that will be acting as our ring beam that will be welded on the top, uh, on the top final course, course uh, of our plate here. Now, if you take a look, if you mouse over this, you find everything get, is getting t uh, selected. So we ca you can't modify anything. If you modify one, everything gets modified. So we want to deal with individual plate. So what we do, we just disable the assembly here by clicking that button here. Then we come and double click on one plate. So we'll find if we click on one plate, we are able to, uh, to modify or work with individual plates. So I'll go ahead and close this then start selection of all the uh, these place that you want to convert convert into a ring beam that will be connected to our our our, our rafters so i'll select on that press control and select all these i'll select all these then uh, just turn around so that you select everything select that select that select that come to navigate and rotate i've selected unwanted so another way of selecting this, just turn this round like that. And make sure you don't pick any unwanted any unwanted member. So just change this to zero and click OK so that you can have this view. So select uh, se select keenly so that you don't pick up other components that might be in the same level with this plate. So that's OK. So we come to navigate and click on that, then turn that round. So you'll find we've selected all the top plates. So I'll right click and press control and select one plate. Then come and double click on it to access this beam properties dialog box. Inside here is where I want to convert these plates into a channel. Uh, this channel is what will be acting as our ring beam on top of the final cause of our plate. Now I'll come to profile here and click on select. Then this will take me straight to profile catalog of all uh, the steel profiles under UK environment or under British environment. So I'll click that um, minus sign and come all the way to C profiles. Now under C profiles here, I'll be able to work with either the C that I'll be able to uh, customize the size of the C channel I want or I, ha I work with the uh, with the preset ones the ones that are in the, in the market but you remember these ones you can bend your plate to take that profile so in this case let me just work with this first in this place so I'll work with this and go ahead and click apply and click OK then I'll come here and click to accept the modification of everything that you selected to a different profile of a channel to take the place of a ring beam that will be connected to your rafters that will be holding the roof section of our storage tank now i'll go ahead and click modify 
and click apply and give it an okay by clicking okay button here then click on empty screen to deselect everything you've just selected then come to navigate here and you want to turn this round to check whether what we've done is correct if not correct we, are, we have enough time to correct everything so you have you, you can see this is a channel this is a plate converted to a channel profile and this is our ring beam and this is where our rafters will, will be connecting uh, against to give a final slope of our uh, uh, rafters supporting our uh, top plate that will be acting as our roof now once you've done this remember you don't you, you, do, you don't go back and try to enable the assembly and double click it will take you back where you are so once you've done this don't enable this and double click to and try to modify the size of the courses of the plate and the plate and the height you are done with that you only do that when you're complete with the with the pl plate sizes and, uh, and 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 everything on the tank here now we are going straight to start start placing the final uh, uh rafter that will be <coughs> that will be connected to the to this ring beam here now i'll come to uh to steel here and i'll come to beam now i'll snap right here at the bottom uh, at this joint here and move all the way and stretch all the way to this final end and make sure this is the best position you intend to place your 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 beam so to me that is not the best position because there's a, there's a slight clash on this so what do i do it's quite simple what we can do we just come to view and try to uh, look for a better position where this member can stretch to or we can just uh, connect it straight to this one so that this can be can be connected to this but it's not appropriate because this one will force us to make a splice joint which we don't think it's necessary we can just bring this and lean on top of this ring beam which is more stronger than connecting the splice uh, joint or connection now i'll right click and come back to steel beam and i'll try to force it to fit in here so to do that we first of all have to make the uh, put our markings that will rest restrict our, our our termination of that stretch or, or that dimension that we will define the, how long or how long will that beam stretch to the fine to the to, to, to top of this beam so we want to first of all mark the points that will define our end points now i'll come to edit and come to points here and come to at any position then i'll just mouse over here i'll just mouse over here you see it it is restricting our movement to a point that we don't really need now i'll come to another point here and pick and uh, pick at any position and s snap it right there so what i'm going to do i'm going to view here and come to work plane tool and i'm going to place my my i'm going to place my work plane tool on that in that position and i want to move this slightly away from this member so what i'm going to do it's simple i select on this press control and select on that then come to special copy and pick linear and that still will not work but we'll slightly try and work it out so i'll come to x x axis then uh, i'll just feed 500 i want it to be away from that from this member by 500 millimeter so i'll feed in that and i just need one of that then i click ok so i'll click ok then uh, get rid of this once I've, uh, I've gotten rid of that now i'll be able to go back and come to steel beam then uh, i'll be able to snap at the bottom end here and stretch all the way to this far end here and snap right there so you'll be able to see this is a member in the right position and this is the right member we, we, we intend to work with but we don't want to we don't want to place or we don't want to to uh, to make our after be a channel we want to change this to uh, 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 an ipe or a universal beam so we'll just double click on it so this will take us to to the profile catalog in, inside here you'll be able to give it or select on the appropriate size so i'll come to i'll come to uh, let me just scroll up and come i'll come to ii profiles then come to ibeam here 
and pick the appropriate member or we can default on this once we've done that i can just leave it this so i want to use the same member here so to to use this same member instead of going back there and, and, and select on the same just double click on it then uh, click modify apply and okay so once you've done that so anytime you try to create create a member you'll be defaulting on this so let me go back and come to this point and i'll snap at the bottom end here and stretch all the way to this point and try to see whether i'll be creating this uh, similar member right there we've created one so this is what exactly what we wanted so this member will be welded straight to this ring beam that uh, we've created just just now by converting the f the final cause of our of our shell plate to uh, a ring beam of a channel now this is how it will work now we've created this and we want to populate this along uh, around the whole tank so what we're going to do next is just to marking the points that will be defining uh, the, uh, the, the, the whole perimeter of our tank in which this member will uh, try to spread within now let me first of all come to view and come to navigate and turn this around like that's this so that i'll be able to see which part to mark to define the rotation or the population or the, or the distribution of this particular uh, rafter along the perimeter of our tank so i'll come here and try to pick uh, the points so the points i'll pick I'll, I'll be able to pick on this point here I'll be able to pick this point let me come to uh, edit I'll come to uh, at any position and picking the points make sure you are very accurate and you don't uh, get mixed up and if you d if you do everything will, will get will get to actually get mixed up so I want to do it right here I want to mark this uh, point or we can use the, the the top end beam here by coming to that I'll, I'll come to at any position and I'll try to snap on that spot then move all the way and try this this far end here because this slightly cut to the center so I'll be able to pick <coughs> I'll be able to pick any uh, part here I'll be able to just mouse over this section here and place a point there and come on the opposite end here stretch all the way and come the opposite end here and place another point so let's first of all check these points are with are within the same age none of it is has been snapped either uh, outside now we have these points in in positions one two and three that defines a triangle so our uh, our rafter will be trying to be to distribute its, itself within the edge of that triangle now i'll click on uh, applications and components here to access the polar array then i'll double click on it so once i've double clicked on it i'll be able to i'll be able to get i'll be able to get uh, this dialog box and we have options here um, but this one you want to con uh, take it back to 30 we just need uh, i mean 10 because 10 will be less so what you're going to do we, we can give it 20 20 will be okay and we'll, we'll go ahead and use exact angle so that we, we this gray becomes a default you cannot modify it but the angle remains the same 30 so I'll go ahead and start clicking the member member I intend to, to to be populated along the perimeter or the along the around the markings I've just created so I'll select on this press control and uh, press control to to notify that that you uh, or confirm your or your, uh, to confirm your selection then pick your first position and your first position being still in the fa this place then I'll move all the way to the other end and I'll snap right here I'll snap right there then stretch all the way and snap on the opposite direction here I'll snap on this opposite direction here and try to see whether this will, will be will be able to, to be populated all round so this is how this one looks the rafters have been already populated 
as you wanted them to be and this is how it looks this is how it looks let me just come here and turn that round our roof has very uh, has the slightest angle of slope so this how these rafters will be populated on top here so the num the number of rafters of these rafters are still manipulatable you can just come here and double click and try to change this number to probably 30 and click ok so we don't have several of them on top so you can turn that and also you can increase these ones also to to some number and we don't want to add any of this because this matches with this so we'll add none to this so once you've done that just go ahead and click ok and we'll have our rafters in place as you can see here our rafters are in place and what we are going to do now here it's very simple we want to place our we want to place our handrails but uh, to do that what we're going to do here we'll just come to edit here or we don't need to, uh, to place the guidelines because we'll just use this point and uh, then that point to find the height of our handrails now I'll come to steel and comes to steel beam and I'll snap on that spot and just place my cursor there and type in or feed in the height of our hand railings I'll be working with 800 here and click OK so by default you can see we have this in place and you don't want to use this particular member it's so big and this cannot be used as a member in, in placing uh, for creation of handrails so we want to use this uh, I want to modify this to uh, a CHS or uh, a circular hollow section I'll double click on it then come to selection here then this will come to uh, uh, profile cat uh, catalog in here we will be able to uh, pick on the appropriate member that will be will be used for the hand railings now I'll come to circular sections here I'll click on that plus sign then uh, I, I may either pick uh, this I, uh, I may either pick this uh, or use this ones here so I'll come to uh, circular hollow section and I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use the 48 and click apply and accept and come here and accept that and try and check whether what you have is the best thing you you've defined so I'll click on that and the height it's it, 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 it's way big it's way tall it's way high and we cannot use this so what you're going to do just double click on it and reduce this height to to that click OK so try and click on it and you'll be able to see this a meter a meter is not bad and we can uh, also reduce it by 200 so double click on that and come to uh, remember here this height is 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 being you're given from the zero zero level to the top end here so I'll reduce this I'll feed in here 50 uh, 15 800 15 800 and I click OK so that one will be 800 I'll click apply and accept and come here and click move and I'll move it from that position to this position here and if I come close I'll come to view navigate here you'll be able to see it's slightly off the point because I want to place it in in the middle here I'll come to edit and come to points I'll select this particular point and stretch all the way to that end to look at the midpoint of this pipe I'll click apply and accept first of all let me disable the assembly because you don't want to mess up with this ring beam so I'll select on this right, right click and come to copy uh, come to move and I'll snap it at the center right there so I, I might be able to get rid of that so that's it and uh, now we want to populate this all over uh, along this ring beam so let me just turn this and this is okay and we can uh, start defining or placing our markings so I, I, I would, uh, it would be okay if we use the same points so I'll take this member I'll take this member 
I'll just undo and do so that I get it from that spot. Right click and come to move. I'll uh, snap on that spot and I want to use this point here. I want to use this point right there because I want to I want to use the same markings that I used previously to populate this rafter along the ring beam. Now I have my my points in place. I have this point and I have another point here and I have another point somewhere here. So these are the three points that I'm, I'm going to use to populate this uh, uh, post along 100 posts along the ring beam of this tank. Now I'll come back to select the polar array. This is the best tool to doing to uh, I mean for doing this job. Then I select on that, and uh, prior to doing that, let me press, uh, first of all bring back the assembly in place. I'll double click once again to connect with the dialog box of this polar array. Then select on this. Then I'll press my mute button on the mouse like that, and then come to my first position here or point then go to my second point right here and I'll snap right here S select as that as my second point then go to my third point here it is located on this section here and I'll snap right there so if you zoom out you'll be able to see whether you have you whether you've placed them in the right position now I'll come to navigation navigate and select and and uh, and rotate using mouse option and I'll be able to turn this round to see whether this is exactly what I wanted. Uh, I, this is exactly what I wanted but the number is few. I'll come back here and double click on it. Double click on that and I'll come to options here and use this equal distribution by numbers of, object, of objects. I'll select on that and I'll add this to 100. So I'll go ahead and click modify and I'll apply this and give an acceptance there. So this is how it will look. And if you turn this around, you'll be able to see you have the, the hand railing posts in place. And we still have to add some members here to make it complete handrail. So let me just turn this around and come on top here and I'll click edit. And come to points here I want to locate the, the, the center of this uh, 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 member then I'll come to points here once again and select that first option and stretch all the way to this far end here and snap on top here on top there there and right there apply and accept and I'll come to steel and come to steel beam and I want to snap on top of that member and stretch all the way to this end and place another member there so don't get scared if you see this big member, this profile. It is a default one that uh, Tecla structure is reading as a default. So any member, if any time you create a beam, will be confronted with this. So this is what we'll be modifying to meet our requirements. Now I'll double click on it, then come to select under beam properties here, and I'll come to eye profile to minimize and get out of that. Then come to circular sections. I'll click on that plus sign. In, in here, we still don't have whatever you want, but we'll, we, uh, the, uh, if you move down slightly, we'll have the circular sections. Inside here, we'll be able to pick the appropriate size of our choice. Then I'll come to CHS, the circular hollow section, and I'll pick uh, and I'll pick 42.4 and pick uh, uh, 2.6. I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and click apply and give it an OK by clicking OK button. Click, come here and click modify. And you, you can see that there's uh, an extension a protrusion, a protrusion of this member which we don't want to use you come to position and get rid of it by changing that to zero then click modify accept and give an acceptance uh, by clicking on okay now we are here and we want to modify this further we will come to this rail then right click and come to special copy here then uh, we want to distribute this along the z-axis and prior to doing that check the, uh, the position or orientation of the X, Y, Z axis. So on X axis will change to zero because we don't want any conflict when trying to populate this along these uh, posts. Now I'll come to Z axis and prefix my dimension with a negative sign. Then come to, then come here and feed my my measurement here. Or oh, 300. I want to populate three of these rails. 
uh, at a distance of three millimeter center to center so i'll come here and feed here three and come all the way and click copy and we'll have that in place and click ok so once you've done this you've done this just come here on the view and come to navigate and turn this around and see whether this uh, have, have been done perfectly well so it's okay i'll double click on polar array now and come to and come to and uh, i mean and come here and select the members i intend to populate and uh, select on this select on that then uh, i'll press my middle button on the mouse so once you've done that you've just follow the instructions given or been asked so in here I'll, I'll be now following up or looking for my my points so will i be able to find them yes so let me just turn this, this round so that so that i can be i'll be able to get them i can't see one there and i'll be able to find one around here let me just turn this round and be able to get it let me turn that round if you fail to get it we just create other points we can see it we have it here so what I'm going to do I'll just come here and turn this point that that point and right click click OK so this will be my first position Remember our selection is still is still active. I'll go to my second. I'll go to my second uh, point right there. Then I'll go to my third point right here. Move away, and I'll define my third point here. Then I'll go ahead and click OK. So I'll zoom out just to check whether what I wanted to distribute has been done, and it has not been done the best way I wanted it to be so using our, our same point I'll come back here and double click on this member on and double click on that on that then select press control and select the members you intend to distribute then define your first point our first point be being now this one and stretch all the way to this far end here and come all the way to the third point here which will be somewhere here I'll click on that and here we have our hand railings in place remember to maintain the number for the for the post and for the handrail so that they match so this is how it looks and if I come to navigate I'll be able to see this see the hand railings on top here so always don't forget to save your work because you might lose your, your whatever everything you've done uh, in 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 a, in, a, in a click if i uh, mean due to power failure or anything that might bring or might, or might switch off your power the the power supply to your system so this is basically what we intended to do today so let me just close that so today I've just showed you how to create the ring beam on top of the final uh, plate and uh, how to populate your rafters on top of uh, for, uh, uh, to, uh, to populate your rafters to support the, the rooftop of your tank. So this is how it looks. So let me just turn this around like that and you can see everything we just done in the simplest way without really scratching your head to an extent that uh, maybe a smoke can come out of your, of your head because it's it really burning out uh, asking yourself what can I do and uh, how can I do this and how quick how quick can I do it now this how simple you can do it though there's uh, there are other softwares for doing the storage tanks but you can also do it in tech structures if you know whatever you want to do and you know the direction you're heading to so now, now this is how it looks and thanks a lot for watching this uh, video and uh, thanks a lot for watching this channel and if you're new to this channel or this is your first 
video to pump on and please don't forget to subscribe and let's meet then on another way of creating your tank the quicker way thanks a lot and bye bye let's meet then i'm Maurice dimba and don't forget once again to subscribe